It's a long journey to get to the South Altiplano in Bolivia, the only place in the world where grows quinoa real, which is the finest variety of quinoa. You're still at 13,000 feet above sea level. And those fields are tucked between the volcanoes and the salar. And the salar is this immense desertic salt flat. When you see the, the landscape, this really dry soil, it's, it's almost unimaginable that you can grow something out there. And so just the quinoa in itself is, is just a super power grain. You see the fields in January to the time in April where suddenly you have those amazing colors. I mean, there was black, there was purple, there was pink, there was gold. Amazing to see a grain with such high protein, really high nutrient content uh, growing without much water. It's, it's, uh, it's magical, it's the magic of nature. Just getting down to Bolivia is quite an adventure. The flights, getting into La Paz, uh, and then driving for hours, uh, up to 10 hours to go to the field. I re specifically remember coming up and over at the top of La Paz, and coming down into La Paz and seeing that view down, and I was mesmerized by the vastness of La Paz. And then when you get into La Paz, first you have to uh, climate to the lack of oxygen, because it's really high up in altitude. Farmers spend hours every day walking up and down those hills in these conditions. It's, it's really incredible. The two main indigenous groups in Bolivia, Aymara Quechan, call the quinoa plant Chisayamama, which means mother grain. They celebrate it. Uh, it's, it's the basis of their life. Quinoa is a gift of the Pachamama, which is the Earth Mother. In the month of April, before harvesting, the farmers and the elders get together in the fields and make sure they thank the Pachamama for everything that the Pachamama has provided them with. As part of their rituals and before the hard manual labor starts, they offer to the Pachamama uh, coca leaves and grain alcohol. And you feel extremely reverent to be in that space when they're saying those prayers. You know that they've been saying these things for centuries, that it's been passed down from father to son to mother to daughter, and a um, very moving experience. Through their co-op and their partnership with Alturico, quinoa, which is so essential to their culture, is also their hope to build a better future. <laughs>